Introducing ThoughtSpot and Mode, bringing data and business teams together in the era of generative AI. In this demo, we'll explore how the combination of ThoughtSpot and Mode makes modern BI a collaborative experience by combining business and data team workflows to find answers to important time-sensitive questions. Let's take a look. Let's begin with a sales performance live board in ThoughtSpot. A retail manager for a nutrition company monitoring their daily sales KPIs sees a spike in sales they can't explain. Feeling something is missing, they tag you, their trusted data analyst, in a comment to get some help. From ThoughtSpot, data analysts can connect to Mode to bring questions directly into their workflow and even work with raw data to create new data sets for more advanced analysis. Let's start with Mode's Visual Explorer, which provides the power and flexibility to explore the data further. The first question you might ask is, I wonder if this spike is concentrated in a particular region. Let's drag the region field into the color bin to break down sales by region. Wow, there's a spike for every region, so it's clearly not a regional phenomenon. Next, let's drop in additional measures, like sales quantity, to see how many items people bought over time. Iterating further, let's change the aggregation to average to see the average number of items sold for each transaction. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. There's clearly a big jump in how many items people were buying per transaction. On average, people went from buying two items per transaction to buying 2.5 items over those two days. This provides an explanation of the spike. But what are people buying? Let's compare product categories side by side. Now this is interesting. The increase was driven entirely by food purchases. So for some reason, during those two days, people bought an extra food item. At this point, you might want to bring in new data and dive even deeper using SQL, an analyst's go-to tool for this iterative phase of analysis. And Mode lets you jump right into writing code without switching tools. This is Mode SQL IDE. It's a full-featured SQL writing experience, complete with schema browsing, autocomplete, multi-tabbed querying, customization settings, and more. With Mode, this experience is front and center and meant to have all the ergonomics analysts expect. Now that you know that people bought more food items in those two days, let's ask, are there certain types of customers that buy more items? That takes joining customer data to the orders data you were just exploring. Once satisfied with the new data set, Visual Explorer is just one click away. And get this, no exporting CSVs from the IDE needed. In this case, stats can help you get to the bottom of the question faster than charting. So let's jump into Mode's integrated notebook, which, just like Visual Explorer, is just one click away. With Python or R at the ready, there are many libraries purpose-built for all kinds of advanced analysis things, like stats, predictive modeling, A-B testing, and more. With the data set from the prior query already loaded into the notebook as a data frame, you can get right to it. Let's start by running a regression across a number of customer attributes, such as age, income, and member status. Yep, it looks like these attributes all have some relationship with the number of items that each customer buys. In fact, the relationship with is member is particularly strong. Ah, this might be the answer. The company often runs member promotions, and over that weekend in question, many stores ran member-only promotions. That's perhaps what drove the spike in sales. To confirm, and to make this insight easier for others to understand, let's create a few more charts and look at the relationship between customer age, item spot, and membership. And something similar for region. Using the right tools for the job, from SQL to charting to Python, you've found the answer the retail manager needs. Let's curate the right charts and notebook output and add a write-up to explain what's happening. And now, with ThoughtSpot right in mode, you can use AI-powered search on the new data set that was built, the one that joins orders and customers. It's as simple as typing customers by member status. 
or average items purchased by member status, or sales by member status broken down by region. Now that you have a sense for the usability of this new data set, you can continue to explore this as an analyst or publish it to ThoughtSpot to make it available to your team so they can continue to find more insights without having to write any code. Once the data set is ready, simply click Publish to ThoughtSpot to create a search data model. In ThoughtSpot, you can view or update the search data model to add synonyms, descriptions, or more searchable fields to make this data set even easier to use. Closing the loop, you can now respond to the original request, sharing the detailed write-up, a new data set for future self-service questions, and a great idea for a new campaign. What great teamwork, right? And that's ThoughtSpot and Mode, bringing data and business teams together in the era of generative AI.